I bet people that actually know how to do their makeup right now are literally cringing at the way that I look. Hey guys, it's Kyla. Welcome back to my channel. You doing this look i just decided that with it just being summer and everyone getting out of school and everything i would do a summer bronzy makeup tutorial and i really like the way that it turned out and if you guys would like to see how i created this look then just keep on watching so i went ahead and did my um eyebrows off camera just because they take me so long that that would need a whole video in itself um, so I just didn't want to include that in this video because it takes me so long, but I just used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And then to set my eyelids, I used the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium Sand. And then I set that with the Cody Airspun Powder. I'm just going to take my Mario Badescu Setting Spray and just spray my face. just to like get it ready for my makeup. So for moisturizer, I'm using the Pixi H2O Skin Drink. Um, I love this stuff. It's like, it feels like putting water on your face, but it's so moisturizing. Like, I don't know, I love it so much. For primer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Lumi Primer. Never really used a primer stick until I tried this one and I actually really, really like it. Um, it feels kind of weird at first when you're putting it on, but I like it. And just a little disclaimer, I am looking down because my mirror is like right below the camera. So if you're wondering why I'm looking down, that is why. So I just let that dry a little bit and then I just spritz like just a little bit more of this setting or facial spray, whatever you want to call it. Just taking like a random gross, I know, dry beauty blender and the Cody Airspun powder and putting this on the sides of my eyes to act as like tape to to form a super like defined straight line of where I want my shadow to go so this is a little trick I learned to do instead of using tape. I'm taking one of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palettes from the Vault Collection Bling Boss. It is the like pink and purple one and I just think this screams like summer vibes. I'm just gonna start out with the crown blending brush and I'm gonna take this shade Hush Hush which is the light pink like blushy color in the palette and I'm just gonna be taking that and putting it right into my crease. So I'm going to take the Unique Crease Brush with the shade Rockstar, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to like put a little bit in the outer corner. So I'm just going to kind of tap this in the form of a V in the outer corner. Lightly on the inner corner right here and honestly like i know it looks crazy right now but it doesn't matter if it looks messy right here like in the beginning because we're gonna fix it and it's not gonna look anything like this so i'm just kind of making like a rainbow 
or like a bridge, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so then I'm just gonna like slightly blend that out a little bit. So then I'm gonna go back with the first brush with the first color or the first shade, hush hush and blend like around that arc so it's not super harsh. I wanted this outer part to be a little bit darker. That's why I'm adding like um, a little bit more. I feel like the key to eyeshadow and sometimes like makeup in general is to not focus on the end results right away because then that's when you get carried away like you just have to build what you want and take your time and just like focus on what you're doing at the time and not so much how you want it to look in the end because literally like two minutes ago i looked crazy and i still look crazy but you can kind of see where I'm going now and it's a little more put together um, than in the previous couple of minutes. And I think that's important to remember as well. Like you just have to like build your colors and it will all come together. Even if it looks messy at first, there's a million ways to make it look better just by blending and adding the right colors in the right places and just stuff like that is actually more important than a lot of people think. So I'm just bringing the shade Rockstar again farther and farther in and just to create the gradient that I want. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of time to blend it out to my liking. With the Tarte Shape Tape, I'm going to take this Luxie lip brush, but it works better for me on my lids. Like, I like it as a lid brush. And I'm just going to take... Um, a little bit of this and put it on my lid and the center points of my lid my eyes literally water so much okay so I just like kind of let it dry down a little bit and I'll just take like this mini beauty blender and just like tap it a little to make it a little more tacky. Now I'm taking the Luxie 245 small shader brush and I'm going to be dipping that into Glitz and Glam, which is this shade right here. I'm gonna dip that in there and then I'm gonna take the facial spray again and just spray the brush to make the color a little more vibrant. And I'm just gonna stick that on my lid. Now I'm going to go back in with this brush and with the shade Rockstar and add that like a little bit over the edges to make it look a little smoother and not so like harsh. And again, it really doesn't matter if you're a little messy with this step because we are going to go back and fix it. Then back with the first brush and the first color, Hush Hush. We are just going to, again, blend all of that out a little bit more. So 
So then I'm just gonna take a brush and wipe away whatever I can and whatever I can. I'll just take a makeup wipe and wipe away any fallout, which usually happens with the glitters. Like it's hard to wipe them away. And then I'm just gonna go back and put a little bit of the primer back under my eyes since I just wiped it away. So then I'm just gonna wipe away the setting powder that's right there. And you have like a pretty sharp line there. I'm taking this brush that came in one of my Naked palettes. I broke it, I don't know. But then I'm just gonna go in with Glitz and Glam again, that color that we put on the top of our lid. And I'm just gonna put like a little like bit right here on my inner corner to add a little sparkle darkle. Now I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation with this unique foundation brush. Um, I like using a brush literally just to get the foundation on my face because I feel like whenever I use a beauty blender, it just soaks up like most of the product. But when I just spread it and put it on with a brush, it seems to give me, like I feel like I get a lot more use out of what I have. And I know this, this is obviously not my shade right now, but it's really the only foundation I have close right now. My forehead is so much darker than like my chest is kind of weird and I mean I like the way this personally looks on me I like more of a yellow undertone foundation for me um, so yeah now I'm just gonna blend that out <laughs> I'm going to be going right back in with my Tarte Shape Tape and just putting my, well that was a lot, on my under eye, down my nose, a bit like between my brows and on my forehead, my chin, my cupid's bow, and I do put a little around my nose because I tend to like lose my makeup in this area first. So I just go ahead and put a little bit extra there. Now I'm just gonna go back with this beauty blender. I use like 10 different beauty blenders for my makeup and I really honestly don't know why. Like it's just something I've done. So when I blend out my under eye concealer, I do bring it like all the way across here so that when I apply my highlighter, it's already a little bit lighter there. So it will show up a little more. So glowy, I love that primer. So I'm pretty happy with it at this point. So I'm gonna go back in with a beauty blender and put like some on my forehead because like I smile so much <laughs> oh, is that the truth I don't know well whenever I smile like I get smile lines and then like my forehead so I just like to go ahead and put some setting powder on them because if not then I'll end up looking crazy and then of course my under eye we gonna set her too. 
So then I'm just gonna take like this big elf brush and just like set the rest of my face. So then I'm just gonna wipe that a little bit off of my forehead or like blend it in. So then I'm gonna take the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer in the shade Bronze Mannequin. Just looks like this, which honestly looks like my skin tone, but it's not. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a buffing brush to do my contour. Um, I don't know if that's appropriate, but we're doing it. So I basically just like place it on there first. And then I usually blend it out. So I just take whatever's left and kind of put that on my forehead. Blending out, blending out. <laughs> and like, we're putting a lot on because we want to look super bronzed in the summertime. So, and then of course, a little bit down our neck. Um, so then I'm going to blend that out So then when I get it pretty much um, how I want it, I take a beauty blender with setting powder again, and I'm going to go like right where my ear starts and go down to create a like sharp contour line. And then I'm obviously just gonna do that on both sides. This side like always comes out so much better than that. <laughs> like that is so nice. And then this one just doesn't wanna work like that. Like, okay. So, just keep it there. We're just gonna take uh, the Luxie 121 mini tapered brush to slightly contour our nose. Um, we are not doing anything like too crazy with this. On camera it shows up so like much crazier than in person. It's kind of funny. I don't ever really contour my nose, but we're gonna do it today. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some powder down my nose. Down my nose. Like that. So then I'm just gonna wipe away what's under my eyes and like on my nose. And I'm gonna go in with the Laura Geller um, Baked Blush in Tropic Hues, which just looks like this. It is super, super pretty. And I'm gonna be using this Bare Minerals or Bare Essentials. Bare Essentials Flawless Face Brush. And put this on the apples in my cheeks and just like blend that out into the contour. That looks so creepy. And this has like a little bit of a highlight effect to it as well. So like it really makes our face shine, which you know we love. Put a little bit on our nose, look like a little sun-kissed nose, and on our forehead, like that. And then we're gonna take this um, blush that I actually got in my Ipsy bag this month. I 
IBY Beauty uh, Braided Glow Highlighter in 24K Magic. It just looks like this um, with this crown um, fan brush. And we just go and put that on our cheeks, a little bit on our forehead. Girl, we are putting so much highlighter on, and it's okay, it's fine. Um, I did not mean to put that much right there. I did not mean to do that. A um, little bit on our cupid's bow. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit to my cheek with my finger. I feel like it looks a little better that way. If, I, if it's a little too intense, I'll just go over it with the brush just a little bit to kind of calm it down a little bit. So now I'm just wiping away the powder that I put on the bottom of my face. And I'm going to take this crown brush. It doesn't have a name or number or anything. And I'm going to put that under my lip. Not too much. I just want it to look like a little pouty lip. So, put a little bit there. And you can put some like in your Cupid's bow too to make your lip like more defined. If you would like. Now I'm taking a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna wipe off whatever lipstick is, or whatever foundation is on my lips. I'm gonna take this It Cosmetics uh, Vitality Lip Flush. I don't know, it's just clear like this. And Putting this on my lips to give it some moisture. And now with the NYX lingerie line, I'm using the Lively 18 and I'm just going to put this on my lips. I love this color so much. After I've got that on my lips, we are going to do our lower lash line. And I'm taking this crown brush in the 11 Mini Flat Angled Brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Gem, which is this bright purple. And I know you guys are like, what? That does not go together, but that's the point. It's summer, we want a fun pop of color on our bottom lash line, so. We're gonna do it. And then I'm gonna go back with Hush Hush, the this color here, just to blend that out and smoke it out a little bit more on the bottom. Use my Ardell Wispies for my lashes today. And I'm just gonna put those on off camera really quickly and I'll be right back. So I just put on my lashes and I used, I can find it, this uh, Thrive Cosmetics a Waterproof Mascara for my lower lash line. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, so now I'm just gonna take one last little spritz of this facial spray. So this is how the look turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this little summer um, bronzy tutorial. And if you recreate this look, then I would love for you to tag me in your video. And if you have any video suggestions please leave them down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when i thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video